118. Find the volume common to two cylinders. One's wrapped around the z-axis, one's wrapped around the y-axis. This, this is a bit of a brain bender if you're not familiar with it. Okay? So let me just show you one that I've created earlier. chunky. Okay. So, you've got a vertical cylinder wrapped around the z-axis and you've got a horizontal cylinder wrapped around the y-axis. And at least in this picture, I know it's a bit fuzzy, but you can see the curves of intersection between the two, the two cylinders. Okay, so if you want to sort of shave it a bit, That's the solid. Okay? And the question is, how do you calculate the volume? We well, can do it a few ways. You can do it using double integrals, using triple integrals, using single integrals, and lots of symmetry. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I can't draw quite as good a picture as that. So that's why I've prepared it earlier. But. Um, um, let's let's go and have a look at the at the how you solve this problem. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm just going to draw the two cylinders separately. So let's consider the volume of. two oops, intersecting cylinders. Okay, so we've got um, one wrapped around the z-axis, here A is some positive number, and one wrapped around the y-axis. Okay, so I'm, going to, I'm just going to draw them separately and then... Hopefully, you can visualise. Okay, that's the vertical one. And the horizontal one is going to look something like this. Okay, again, not perfect. <clears throat> now, how are we going to describe the intersection? Well, let's go back to my earlier picture. You can use symmetry here a lot. If you want to have Z between two surfaces, right? and use some sort of symmetry. The, the simplest lower surface is just the xy plane. Okay? So we're going to slice in the xy plane and then just look at everything above the xy plane and then multiply it by some factor. Now, what is this curve here? This is the upper bounding surface for z. Well, we can get it from here. It's going to be z is less than root a squared minus x squared. Okay? <coughs> What about the bounding curve for y? Well, if we look at this curve, this is certainly going to bound y. We can get that from just rearranging this, making you know, y um, um, equal to root a squared minus x squared. So let's see if we can clarify our, our ideas here. So I'm only going to consider the, the intersection in the first octant. In other words, where x, y, and z are all non-negative. And then I'm going to multiply my um, answer by 8. So 
So let's call this um, uh, S1. Okay, now, <clears throat> if I draw in Oh, sorry, this is Z. This is positive X down here. If I draw in both of my curves, okay, so what I've done there is I've just sort of drawn in this bounding curve here. I guess it's just, just a profile of the surface. And this one comes from... Um, so comes from, ah, sorry, so, so sorry, this comes from here, and this one is just here, okay? So, in the first octant, this is going to be, so this is just the following, and this is just uh, the following. Okay, so let's see if we can actually put, put our volume together. So the total volume of intersection, it's just eight times the volume of S1. Okay, so let's try to describe this three-dimensional region, S1. Well, Z's going to be between the zero plane and the plane uh, and the um, the uh, surface Z equals root a squared minus x squared. If I draw a vertical line in here, y is going to be between 0 and this curve. R again, it's root a squared minus x squared. And x is going to be between 0 and a. So I've kind of squished that all in there. I hope you can, you can read it okay. And it looks a little bit difficult because you've got all these square root signs, but actually it's not too bad. If I do the inside integral, I'm gonna, this is just going to shift in here. Um, well, let me do it in two steps. If I do the inside integral, I'm just going to get a square root a squared minus x squared. Now, when I integrate that with respect to y, I'm not going to change any of, the, any of this. I'm just going to get a factor, of, uh, a, a factor of y there. So when you bring that one in, these two square roots are going to combine, and you're going to get this. So they're going to sort of cancel off. <clears throat> so you get actually something quite simple. Now, if you integrate this single integral, you should get something like the following. According to my calcs, it's this. So the final answer then is just the following. So the U stands for cubic units there, whatever their units are. <coughs> 